Hello everyone, I'm uh, Dr. P. Petra again. I'm going to continue about the discussions for the bone valuation. So for the previous examples, I have used one example, so which is uh, three years bone, signed from 1st of January 2014 to the 1st of January 2017. The coupon rate annually is 8%, and for the face value, it is $1,000. So that means uh, at the end of the 1st of January 2017, I get at $1,000. YTM yield to maturities, so on the other hand, which means the market interest rate 6%. Uh, make sure that the coupon rate and the market interest rate is completely different because the coupon rate is only need to calculate how much coupon I have uh, received during the period. But for the market interest rate, it is used to calculate the bond price. Uh, the difference is uh, the coupon payment now is semi-annually. So that means half a year I've received the first coupon. So on the other hand, so what is the difference if the frequency is changed from annually to semi-annually? So let's see the calculations here. So the coupon pay per period, so uh, in this example, per period is half a year. So the, uh, the same equation, face value, is multiplied by the coupon rate. Uh, but this time we need to divide it by 0 0.5, so which means 1 over 2, because uh, half a year I receive one coupon. So that's why we need to divide the annual coupon rate by 2. And then we have calculate 1,000 times 8%, and then multiplies by 0 0.5, the value should be 40. So that means half a year I receive $40. And as you can see in the timeline, so I have, uh, say for example, I need to calculate the P0, uh, that means the bond price. So as an investor, you pay the bond price P0, that is the unknown that you need to calculate. Uh, start from here. So half a year later, so that means 0 0.5, we will receive $40. And then for the second second time, $40, so which we will receive one year later, and so on. Until at the end of the year three, which means the 1st of January 2017, I receive $40 plus an additional so face value, so which is $1,000. So in total, I received 1,040 at the end of the year three. So according to what we have learned at the, uh, at the previous chapters, so bond price is calculated by uh, actually discounting all the future cash flow back to the bond price now. Okay, so that's why the first one, $40, which we receive uh, after half a year will be divided by 1 plus 6% over 2. So this point is uh, we need to pay attention because 6% originally should be annually but now the $40 means half years so that's why we need to divide the 6% by 2. Similarly for the second $40 so we have to divide it by 1 plus 6% over 2 so bracket so now you need to uh, multiply to the power of two times because uh, you have received two times the forty dollars. So and uh, so we continue the third uh, third receipt of the coupon, fourth receipt, fifth receipt, and the last one should be one zero four zero. We need to divide by one plus six percent over two. Well, now it should be divided uh, and it should be to the power of 6 because this is the 6th time we received the coupon. Okay, and then uh, according to here, so you will calculate by using simple calculators 1054.17. Okay, but how can we use the financial calculators for the calculations? So let me explain and elaborate in here. So here is uh, BA2 plus financial calculators. So the first step, once again, is to clear the previous data. Second, and then cancel, which is our bottom left corners. So now what you need to uh, input the data, including the first thing, the $40, so which is the coupon you have to receive per period. So you have to uh, input 40 here, and then the PMT, which means the coupon, uh, which means the payment per period. And then now, uh, the second data you have to receive is sex. Because of three years, we can, mod, uh, we can input three firstly,
but three years we have to uh, receive the coupon for twice time so we need to we need to multiply by two and then which is equals to six so six is the number of period you receive so that's why you multi uh, you input n here and the third data is the i stroke y so now this is three percent so that's why you have to input three and then input the i stroke y in here and at last of course it's one thousand which is the face value and then you have to input the fv so make sure that every time four data for calculating the bond price and then what we need to calculate should be the compute of the bond price so which is compute and pv so 1054.17 so which is the same answer as here okay 1054.17 so that's it